if you bother to read the website stuff, you know the official sort of bio stuff. Essentially, I got out of college with a degree in anthropology. I quickly learned the value of a Bachelor of Arts in anthropology. I went to work as a mechanic fixing cars. So I ended up getting a job as the boy. I was the guy who swept the parking lot in the video facility. Uh, there, after a little bit of time, I learned videotape editing, I learned video storytelling, became a sound editor, very quickly sort of moved into dialogue because I'm this sort of a geeky guy who likes all this geeky manipulation of sounds. And I've been editing dialogue on television and film for about 20 years now. That's the story. Everything we're going to talk about today is about the story. How many of you have worked on, have done the actual editing on at least one sound for picture project? Okay, 40%, not bad. You've got shot one, you've got shot two, and one way or another, there are several ways to do it, but in essence what you're doing is extending this room tone a bit and making a fade, like so, so that this goes out more slowly, this comes in more slowly, and what you end up with is a smoother transition. This is not about sound, this is just about the things that can screw up a shot. There's this line between us. So your one shot has to be shot from this direction. My one shot has to be shot from this direction, not from over here, because we want us basically from cut to cut to cut facing each other. If you shot me from here, then we'd be facing the same direction. 